aim to this video are to look briefly at the history of existentialism. Examine what is the key philosophy for existentialists. Examine the ideas of Jean-Paul Sartre and look at the difference between existentialism and nihilism. Robert Solomon defines existentialism as an attitude that recognises the unresolvable confusion of the human world, yet resists the all-too-human temptation to resolve the confusion by grasping towards whatever appears or can be made to appear firm or familiar. The existential attitude begins with a disoriented individual facing a confused world that he cannot accept. Existentialists all share a common concern with what some have termed the human condition. This concern leads them to consider fundamental human questions. Why am I here? What does it mean to be human? How should I live my life? The human condition is a concept that considers human nature, human society, or how humans live their lives. The Henri videos are an excellent introduction to existential angst. Henri the cat poses all the fundamental existential questions. Yes, Henri. Je suis un chat noir. J'habite en vie de luxe. Mes concierges m'emmènent. Mais je me sens vide. Mon œil filtre quand il est pur. Je ronronne et rarement. Din det lär bara så kommer se gott och exakt som det är man man på som plank de monten dam de lyfter de la vita så du inte mer mer så du är libre så du är en person i att pusses ne som par på sable och tar en till ta pusser så får du nu vara mig. Mas rara men la skade Det sembler ja et et fait sans fuir Le por croe pa Lus ne som is partu Le singe et et mort que de moi avec chaque chicanade Je suis perdu Je suis déterrané Je suis comme un pendule Si la ne se balance pas C'est ma carré mieux C'est aussi une action réflexe Rien de plus Je suis hanté Je suis en ré It makes sense that some people would have challenged the meaning and purpose of human life after the horrors of World War II. Notable post-war existentialists include Jean-Paul Sartre, Albert Camus, Franz Kafka and Martin Heidegger. Existentialist thinkers have widely differing views on their evaluation of the human condition, which is one of the reasons why the movement is hard to define. One commonality for existentialists is a rejection of theories or systems, whether philosophical, scientific or religious, that have definitive answers to the questions of meaning and purpose in life. The most prominent system of this type in the history of Western civilization is Christianity. Systems, such as Christianity, have been very attractive throughout history, as they provide individuals with a collective meaning and purpose. Existentialists believe that individuals should face the human condition and its inescapable problems because it enables a person to become an authentic and free human being. Some existentialists believe that accepting human mortality can provide an individual with the impetus to stop living in conformity and live by standards and values of their own choosing. Jean-Paul Sartre imagines men as lonely creatures in a meaningless world. Sartre's primary idea is the paradox that people as humans, are condemned to be free. This theory relies on his position that there is no creator, and is illustrated using the example of the paper cutter, 
Sartre says that if one considers a paper cutter, one would assume that the creator would have a plan for it, an essence. Sartre said that human beings have no essence before their existence because there is no creator. Hence, Sartre's most famous line, existence precedes essence. The idea of an essence comes from Aristotle. Aristotle believed that everything, person, flora, fauna, mineral, has an essence, or pre-designed nature. For example, the essence of an acorn is to grow into an oak tree. Aristotle believed that the essence of being human is to reason. People who believe in an omnipotent creator would argue that essence precedes existence. Absurdity is a regular theme in existential writing. Albert Camus, another existential thinker, explained that the absurd is born out of the confrontation between the human need and the unreasonable silence of the world. Sartre believed that humanity must live in a world that is hostile or indifferent to them. The universe will never truly care for us the way that we want it to. Alienation is a regular theme in existential writing. Sartre believed that individuals are isolated strangers in the world. In existentialism, authenticity is the degree to which one is true to one's own personality, spirit or character, despite external pressure with being in a material world and with encountering external forces, pressures and influences. Sartre's novels often had characters and anti-heroes who based their actions on external pressures. The pressure to appear to be a certain kind of person. The pressure to adopt a particular mode of living. The pressure to ignore one's own moral and aesthetic objections in order to live a more comfortable life. Nihilism is the belief that there is no purpose in life. Now, existentialism and nihilism are similar in the fact that there's no objective meaning um, for either philosophy. Um, there's no destiny for humans. However, existentialism believes that a person can create their own personal or subjective meaning, whereas nihilism, there is just simply no meaning, whether it's objective or subjective. So just to recap the key points of the lesson, the existential attitude begins with a disoriented individual facing a confused world that he cannot accept. Fundamental existential questions are, why am I here? What does it mean to be human? How should I live my life? The human condition is a concept that considers human nature, human society, or how humans live their lives. Existentialists believe that individuals should face the human condition and its inescapable problems because it enables a person to become an authentic and free human being. Jean-Paul Sartre imagines men as lonely creatures in a meaningless world. And some of his famous quotes are, humans are condemned to be free, and existence precedes essence. Sartre believed that humanity must live in a world that is hostile or indifferent to them. He also believed that individuals are isolated strangers in the world. In existentialism, authenticity is the degree to which one is true to one's own personality, spirit or character, despite external pressures with being in a material world and with encountering external forces, pressures and influences. Nihilism is the belief that there is no purpose in life, which differs from existentialism um, in that Existentialists believe that an individual was able to shape their own purpose. And that's it. You've made it. We're through to the end of the lesson. Look, uh, existentialism is a fascinating topic. There's so much more uh, to go out and discover. Um, however, hopefully we've just started you on your journey. Uh, so, look, thank you so much for watching. There will be another video coming out very soon. Um, and, look, if you like this video, then please do click on the... Um, on the button on the bottom right. Um, so, thanks again for watching.